The Lion King comes along with shoes the size of the African savanna to fill as a remake of Disney's best animated film, which debuted in 1994. While the visuals are absolutely astounding and the sound design and soundtrack also deliver, it is ultimately an unnecessary film, but its existence is not completely without merit. Hey, Comic Book Nation, BD here with your spoiler-free review of The Lion King, although spoilers certainly aren't really an issue with this one, as this film is very loyal to its animated predecessor. While 2019's The Lion King is loaded with star power in the voices of Simba, Nala, and others, the true star of the movie is the visual effects team. The photorealistic design of The Lion King, complete with stunning looks at the African savannah's pride lands and the darker, more treacherous land beyond the shadows, is an absolute flex of animation technology. Only one shot in the entire film is real, meaning that everything from the animals to the plants to the bugs on screen were completely created by animators, and many of them can be mistaken for real animals. Once the audience stops trying to guess what is real or fake, the voices of the young actors shine through as J.D. McCrary and Shahidi Wright-Joseph surprisingly offer the more acceptable and enjoyable versions of Simba and Nala playing the younger versions before Donald Glover and Beyonce take over for the second half of the movie. It isn't until Billy Eichner and Seth Rogen come in as Timon and Puma that the movie truly soars though. The duo are hilarious with impeccable timing as a meerkat and warthog, offering the movie an abundant level of heart and tremendous family-friendly laughs. Also worthy of a shout out is Chiwetel Ejiofor for his dedication as the villainous Scar, offering up a worthy remix of the well-known Be Prepared song, which plays just as well as the new takes on Hakuna Matata and Can You Feel the Love Tonight. Ultimately, the Lion King remake might make us appreciate the magic of its predecessor more than before, but the emotional beats are on point just as expected, and director John Favreau makes an impressive effort to make talking lines acceptable. Plus, his transitions into musical numbers are pretty seamless. I'm Brandon Davis for comicbook.com and I give The Lion King 4 out of 5 stars.